What's up everybody, it's Max from Screaming Cinema. Uh, just got a brand new shipment in from Amazon. You guys may have seen on some sites, obviously people posting on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, with some crazy prices that Amazon had. They were having some brand new Blu-rays for less than 10 bucks, brand new 4Ks for 15 and under, so obviously had to jump in and take advantage of the sale and wanted to share my haul with you guys. So let's go ahead and dig into it here. First up, we have Howard the Duck. Um, this one I have never seen before. I'm big into the MCU, so I've always wanted to check it out. It cracks me up that it's a cartoon duck from uh, presented and produced by George Lucas. Uh, it's a Marvel movie, technically, so that's kind of crazy. And in the synopsis, it says, um, a duck from a parallel universe crashes to Earth and somehow winds up in Cleveland. So obviously, it's kind of one of these... Um, humorous joke late 80s early 90s movies so um i'm excited to check it out i'll let you guys know what i thought about it obviously add it to the marvel collection um next up we have 2018's hellfest this is a halloween movie or a movie that you could watch on halloween it's one of the reasons i picked it up um when i saw it the first time um, it was kind of panned by critics, said maybe it could have been better, maybe the acting could have been better, the story was whatever, but I had a great time with it. It's a story about a group of kids that goes to Hellfest, which is a scare, a haunt where you go party, drink, um, and go through haunted houses. There's a scarier part that you have to sign a waiver in order to participate where the actors are allowed to put their hands on you and have some bigger than normal scares. So when someone starts picking off a group of kids, um, it seems like it may be normal because they're part of the game or part of the act. So it's a pretty crazy one. Some of my favorite parts of it, you're actually able to experience um, some of the haunts with them through the eyes of the actors and see some of the scares. So uh, I had definitely had a good time with that. This comes with the Blu-ray uh, DVD digital copy. Just looks like two special features, Thrills and Kills, Making of Hellfest, and the theatrical trailer. So not much on there, but I am excited to own it. Um, this was only $9.99, so not bad for a movie less than a year old. Next up, we have Harry Potter spinoff Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. I own every Harry Potter movie, so every time one comes out, I feel like I have to buy it. Um, this was a great time to pick this up because this movie just came out last year. And this film actually came in for under $10. Comes with a slipcover, looks like Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, as well as an extended cut on digital of the film itself. Uh, looks like loaded up with some special features, but overall, I like this movie. Um, it wasn't as good as the previous Fantastic Beast film. It felt like at times they had to try to tie in the Harry Potter world more. And although I liked that, it was confusing with some of the names and characters, who was who, what was happening, and even trying to recollect all of my readings of the books and um, seeing all of the films multiple times, I kind of had a hard time keeping up with that. So not sure if anyone else felt that way, but I did like it, happy to add it, but it wasn't as good as the previous uh, iteration. Next up here we have Venom. And Venom was under 10 bucks too. This movie came out last year. Um, actually, I think it was this year. Let's see. No, 2018. Came out last year. Uh, they had the 4K available for only 13 bucks, but I ended up going with the Blu-ray for um, $9.99 because the 4K was back ordered, and I kind of just wanted to get in one shipment and be done with it. So uh, I did pick it up in Blu-ray. This movie also did not get the best reviews, but I had a great time with it. Tom Hardy's performance is awesome. Um, really hard to do, kind of in your head, performance, how you're outwardly performing, and then him obviously doing the Venom voice as well. So uh, this is a good movie, I had fun with it. Another superhero movie, uh, Venom is an anti-hero, so happy to add this to my collection. Looks like we have some extended post-credit scenes, deleted scenes, hour of extras, Venom trivia, the Lethal Protector in Action, The Antihero, Venom Vision, Designing Ve Venom, Symbiote Secrets, and more. So this thing is packed with special features, which is nice to see now because it doesn't always happen that way. Let's see here. Next up we have Green Book. This is the 2000, um, most recent, sorry, 2018-2019 uh, Academy Award Best Picture winner. 
Um, I have a Best Picture collection that I try to pick up every movie that has ever won Best Picture. Um, not very far in now, maybe about 25 movies, but anytime one of them goes on sale or I can get for under 10 bucks, I jump on it. This was 10 bucks as well. Uh, they did also have a 4K copy on sale for 15, but it doesn't seem like a movie that needed a 4K upgrade as the majority of the scenes are driving in a car and outside shots, so nothing too crazy there with action that I wanted to pick up in 4K, but um, this has Viggo Mortensen and Marsha Shah Ali, both Academy Award winners and nominees. Um, definitely was some blowback on this winning Best Picture. There was some issues with the family of the uh, main character who was inspired by. Um, so I'm interested to check it out. I haven't seen it yet, but for 10 bucks, I had to grab it to my collection, be able to check it out, uh, and obviously own it. And lastly, we have a movie I'm embarrassed I haven't owned already, but that is The Exorcist. This movie uh, obviously scared the shit out of me when I was a kid, when I first saw it. And it is a movie I was definitely excited to pick up. I haven't seen it in a while. It's not one of those that you can just throw on every year as it's pretty heavy and fucked up. But I was happy to add it to my collection. This is the, I believe it's 2009 release of it. It comes with the 2000 uh, extended director's cut version. It also comes with a three-part documentary on the movie. Um, some never before seen footage, so I'm excited to check that out. I'm not sure if I've ever seen the extended director's cut, so I'll let you guys know about that. So that is my haul. Awesome pickup from Amazon. One, two, three, four, five, six movies for under 60 bucks. Uh, I was able to pick up all of these for $10 and Howard the Duck for $5, so definitely cannot go wrong with that price, and I'm happy to add all of these into my collection. You guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, um, and if you're interested or have any thoughts on these movies, go ahead and leave a comment. We can discuss below. Thank you.